this is actually a really good idea here. So you could use this and use it to charge devices like a mobile or camera batteries. And the idea being it automatically has a timer set and it does a countdown. And once it reaches that limit, it just turns itself off. So I think that's a great idea. I've not seen that before with other devices. The advantage of this option is you can have a start time and an end time, and you can get it turning on and off randomly. So this is really good functionality here. So this could give the impression if you're on holiday and you've got it plugged into a lamp, that someone's home. Hi there. Today I'm unboxing a smart power adapter. So this particular one is by a company called British General. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes nicely packaged and some of it is plastic. So you can see the smart power adapter behind there. Come in closer, control your power by mobile voice touch, on off switch, timer and scheduling. Looking below, single 13 amp white molded. Coming around the side, same details again. And on the back, it's just highlighting the fact that it's compatible with the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home together with IFTTT. Coming this way, pitch of the plug. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through the items one by one. So over here, you've got an installation guide. And if I open it up just to show all in English and details on how to set this up. Let's take a look at the smart power adapter. So height wise is 10 centimeters, width is five and a half, depth from this point is 3.2 centimeters and from here it's 4.1 centimeters. Three pin plug on there, all the way around, it's a matte white finish and you can see there's a slight ridge there. I won't try opening it, probably a way to lever that, no need for me to do that. It's a button here, it looks like there could be a possible LED most of these plugs do have that. Coming around the back, got the three pins on there for the UK. BG branding on there, smart home adapter. Input is 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Max load is 13 amps, 3120 watts. Details regarding the company down here. Build wise, it does feel very solid and very good build quality to there. In terms of size, I think it is quite a fair size to it you know, not compact. I have done smaller smart plugs. So in terms of size, it is pretty large. Let's make a start at setting up this smart power adapter. So I'm at my Android phone here. If I go to the Play Store and we search for BG Home, that's the app we're after. Let me click install and let's give it a moment. Now it's installed. Let's click open. It's now requesting access to storage. Let's click allow. So this is what you're initially presented with, a sign-in dialogue. So next we need to sign up. So if I click here, this is the privacy terms. Just click agree. And next, let me enter in my details off camera. So I've registered an account and I'm about to sign in. So let me click login. And this is what you're initially presented with. So to add this smart power adapter, all I need to click is the plus here. Click on adapter. And now we need to plug in the device, turn the power on to it. And next we need to check if there's a light here flashing away. And it is rapidly flashing. So if it isn't, you just have to hold on to it until it starts flashing. So let me demonstrate. This is actually take it into AP mode. So this is when you're having issues connecting to it. AP mode is an alternative. And let's give it a moment slowly blinking. So that's AP mode. Now if I hold on to it once more, there you go, rapidly flashing now. So on the app, if I click operation confirmed, click next, needs access to location services, I'll select allow only while using the app. And this is what we're presented with. So the first thing to note is it's only supported on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So next, let me enter in my Wi-Fi password off camera. I've entered my Wi-Fi password. Let me click next and let's give it a moment. And there you go, it's added in. So first thing it's asking, where is the device? So these are different locations. If I scroll down to the bottom, you've got studio. So that's a custom one I added when I was doing some testing with this. So I'll just select that. And next it says, next, name your device. It's called adapter. I'm gonna call it bedroom plug. 
let's click save and there you go it says all done now if we select go to device control page this is what we're presented with and if I come back for a moment there you go so there's the plug there so you can control it from here so just to test this out I've got a three pin plug wired in to a light here so if I plug that in first thing to note I can control it directly from the adapter so that's an override you don't have to rely on the app to use this next coming to the app if I press on there turns it on turns it off clicking on there now this is the interface for the adapter if I now click here on the top we've got function set and general let's click on function set so we've got max work time so this is quite an interesting option so it says after opening every time the device reaches the time limit it will automatically turn off the power and avoid safety hazards caused by the long working hours so this is actually a really good idea here so you could use this and use it to charge devices like a mobile or camera batteries and the idea being it automatically has a timer set and it does a countdown and once it reaches that limit it just turns itself off so I think that's a great idea I've not seen that before with other devices obviously you do have countdown timers but this option automatically kicks in as soon as you turn on the device so interesting functionality there coming over here you can set the time you want so one hour to eight hours and then you've got a customize button and you can customize to your requirements if you wanted and then hit confirm and then it saves it there next you've got history so these is the history of it turning on and off and go previous day you can see what the history has been so obviously I've been testing it previously coming back from that next we have general clicking on there you can see device name so you can rename the device if you wanted coming back change the room it's in device information that will contain information like IP address and MAC address details firmware update device type clicking that nothing happens looking towards the bottom you've got remove device now a couple of things missing from here I can't see an option to share the device with other people so if you did have this shared with another family member or a friend who you wanted to control this device as well you'd have to install the app and use your credentials on their phone for this the other thing is create groups so there's no option to create groups so these are two options that exist in smart life and two years so it's a bit of a shame that not being there okay coming back then you've got a big red button and below that it says power is off if I click on that turns green power is on it's a nice little indicator there coming down here no timer set press timer to add no random set press random to add and just below that we've got switch if I click on that turns it on and turns it off so two methods of turning on and off click on timer add timer and you can set an hour and a minute for the timer to happen and then you've got repeat setting and within that you've got only once every day weekday weekend and custom coming in custom you can set your own variation from what you've got coming back from there back again operation and this is the operation you want to happen on there either turn on or turn off so if you had a timer set and you had it turning on what you'd want to do is set another timer to also turn it off as well okay now coming back going back again next we've got delay if I click on that and this is the countdown timer so you can select one of the predefined times or customize and put your own one in very useful obviously if you've got something on timer for instance a phone charging and you want it to turn off after a certain period so just to show if I click save you see the icon change to a darker color so dark blue now if I go into it you can see there's a cancellation of delay button so if I click there it's cancelled it next we have random clicking in there and selecting it it's turned on but the advantage of this option is you can have a start time and an end time and you can get it turning on and off randomly so this is really good functionality here so this could give the impression if you're on holiday and you've got it plugged into a lamp that someone's home coming down the bottom you've got repeat setting clicking on that you can see you've got only once every day weekday weekend and custom and clicking on custom just as before now coming back from there 
and there you go that's all the options you have available on there and as you saw very simple to set up and configure and great functionality here where you have the max work time where it automatically sets a countdown timer and also you've got random as well so you can have it coming on randomly next thing to show if i drop this down turn off my wi-fi go back into the app and if i now click there there you go turns on and turns off so i'm on my 4g and you can control it like this without opening any ports on your router so cloud-based connectivity here so excellent functionality like most of these smart plugs would have next let me show max work time in action so if i go to function set turn it on and we'll set it to just one minute and there you go confirm is here and if i now go back and if i turn it on and let's just wait and see if it turns off automatically there you go automatically turned off so excellent functionality there so if i do turn it on again the same thing will happen until i actually go to max work time and just cancel that option next thing i wanted to show was the fact the iphone app is identical to the android app so as you can see my iphone's here and the interface is the same if i click here you see it turning on turn it off click in there dialogue's exactly the same just to show and even the options are exactly the same so you've got max work time clicking there general next let me show how to set up this device to work with both the google home and the amazon alexa so I'm at my android phone here let's go for the google home first so the home app's there if i click on that click in the corner go to assistant settings assistant and home control next you want to click the plus icon the service you want to search for is bg home and as you can see it's already there so if you haven't got it add it in it'll ask for your credentials enter your credentials in and then it will link to the service and now if i come back scroll down you can see bedroom plug so if i click on there you go it turns on turns off click on it you've got the button there as well turns on turns off settings in there so you can rename it and it shows it's linked into bg home coming back now if i unmute my google the microphone is back on i can say turn on bedroom plug okay turning on the bedroom plug turn off bedroom plug okay turning the bedroom plug off there you go as simple as that to get set up with the google home next let me show how to set up this device to work with the amazon alexa so i've got the alexa app here if i click on that click in the corner skills and games and we search for bg home there's a skill there if i select it you can see it's enabled so if it isn't enabled for you enable it and then it will ask for your credentials enter your credentials in and then it will link in with the skill now if i click devices and we click on plugs you can see bedroom plug if i click on the button here turns it on turns it off if i now go in there got another button to enable you to turn it on and off and clicking in here you can rename it if you wanted to and it shows the fact it links in with bg home now coming back you can also create routines with it now if i unmute my alexa i can say turn on bedroom plug okay turn off bedroom plug okay there you go as simple as that to get working with the amazon alexa now from watching this video and if you're a subscriber and you've seen some of my other videos you may have noticed that i'm not recording the screen on this so very odd about this app i just can't do a screen record for some reason i don't know what's so strange about it but the other thing is the sizing now i've tried the app on a different phone so this is an s10 plus and it fits quite well in there but on the s10 plus it's very odd so if you look up here it overlaps slightly on the screen and when you try pressing the button you always end up missing it a lot of the time and not getting it so that's one thing to be aware of and the other thing is if you have a navigation bar at the bottom some 
options are missing. So if I just show that, you can see a save button there. So now if I go and turn on navigation, I'll turn on the navigation buttons. So they've turned on there, come back from there, go back into the app and see this. If I go into customize, you can't see the save button. So very odd, I don't think they've fully tested the app for usability in that respect. So keep that in mind. There are ways around it. Obviously I hid the navigation bar and in terms of recording, that wouldn't really affect you if you're using this app. I just wanted to record the screen, obviously to make it clearer for people watching the video. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this smart power adapter. Very simple to set up and configure and two really good options on there. First being the max work time and the second one being the random timer where you could set a time period and it will come on and off random times during those periods. So in terms of other smart plugs I've reviewed, they didn't have that sort of functionality. And I think that's a real good bit of functionality you get in this. The fact you can set this max work time and the random timer. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.